Ancients of days, we appreciate you. We thank you for who you are. Thank you, Jesus. You are the reason why we are gathered this hour. Spirit of the living God, we welcome you into our means. We ask, O oh God, you take charge of every one that will come out, O oh God, from your servant this hour. Let the word be a voice of freedom, a voice of deliverance, a voice of healing. Amen. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. Thank you, ancients of day. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Broke your Bible very quickly to Matthew chapter 2. Let's quickly look at the scriptures in Matthew chapter 2. I want to, as a matter of urgency, start reading from verses number 13. I read, And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise and take the young child and his mothers and flee into Egypt and be thou dear until I bring thee word for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him and when he arose he took the young child and his mother by night and departed into Egypt and was dear until the death of Herod, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Out of Egypt have I called my son. Verse number 19. I want to jump to verse number 19. But when Herod was dead, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt saying arise and take the young child and its mother and go into the land of Israel for they that are dead we shot the young child's life take your seat God bless you very quickly this hour I want to speak on what I titled out of circulation everybody say out of circulation out of circulation out of circulation ladies and gentlemen i'd like you to give me your attention for god to prove his power for god to deal with herod who was after the death of baby jesus he has to take Christ out of what? The Second. public domain. Out of what? Circulation. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to build up your hope and faith in God this hour because God has something for you. Before now, you have been out of circulation but your time has come to shine yeah. i say your time has come to shine yeah. those who knew you yesteryears as a barren woman now that you are out of circulation they saw and they knew that because you were out of circulation you were out as a barren woman now that you are coming out, you are coming with your baby. Amen. I say you are showing up with your baby. Amen. I say you are carrying your baby. Amen. They knew that you were very, very poor. But today, now that you are out, you are coming as a wedding man. Amen. Prosperity is locating you. Amen. If you believe, wave your hands and shout hallelujah. Now, listen to this. Herod was after Christ to destroy him because he found out another Christ Savior was born. 
And Herod said to himself, two captains can never be in a boat. He can't be king and another king is born. Now he sent the wise men. Go search for him. And they said they fetched him. They found him, but thank God for God, they did not return immediately. And Herod was waiting to hear from them. But that is not where we are heading to. Herod has to come out with a degree and a law. And he said, now any child under two years, any living child born under two years, Oya, rasa the whole place and start killing them just because of Christ. And that same night, the angels visited and left. The wise men visited and left. God came to Joseph in a dream and he said, take this boy and his mother and flee. Remove him out of circulation and go to war. Egypt. For Herod is after the death of this child. And that same night, Joseph took Mary, Jesus, his family, and fled. He said, remain there until I bring you a war. Until I kill Herod. Until I deal with Herod. Don't come back. And in verse number 19, after he has dealt with Herod, he came back again. And he said, now, you cannot go back. God told Abraham, he said, leave your father's house. It is not that God cannot bless Abraham in his father's house. But don't forget, Abraham's father was an idol worshiper. So God do not want a situation where he blessed Abraham. He started receiving attack. God has something to do for each and every one of you under the sound of my voice. Whatever challenges or situations you are going through right now, God is building up your faith in him. Amen. That when you are fully nurtured, when you come out, the enemy cannot strike you anymore. Amen. God is removing you out of circulation. Do you know when you say something is out of circulation? I remember in those days, when I used to work in the media house, in the paper house, one of our deacons was the circulation manager in Guardian newspaper. He was covering Benin and Worry. And one of our friends was in Punch, and another one was in Vanguard. I was in Sunray newspaper from Port Harcourt. I was the assistant circulation manager. So when you say something is out of circulation, it means it's either the thing is scarce, ban, or not in place. So there are times, Guardian newspaper was the sellable papers at that time, the leading paper, because it covers so many things. We use Guardian to sell every other paper. At times when they bring, when it comes few, it cannot cover some, it's out of circulation. Don't be everywhere when God is preparing something for you. God 
is pushing so very many of you here and there, locating you. He wants to use you. But many of you are running away from him. Have you ever asked yourself, you put hand in these things, it's not working. You put hand in these things, it's not working. You are struggling and all of that. And the call of God is upon your life. And yet, you have failed to recognize the hand of God upon your life. God is taking you out of circulation to breathe you so that when you come out, you will be a voice to your generation. As we speak right now, there are people in the mountain, young men and women in the mountain, fasting and praying, equipping themselves. They are out of circulation. There are some persons you are looking for. It's right in the mountain. Doing what? Building up his faith. Equipping himself. But when he shows up tomorrow, he comes out with fire in his bones. And you say you want to challenge such a person? No. Out of circulation. Permit me. If you look at the life of Joseph. Joseph. I don't want to go how, into how he was sold into slavery and all of that. But thank God. I am so happy sometimes when I read the scriptures. For Potiphar's wife. Thank God for who? Potiphar's wife. Joseph was living a comfortable life in Potiphar's house. He was so, so much comforted that he lacked nothing. But because God wants to make use of him, he brought Potiphar's wife to locate him and to tempt him. You see why I'm thanking God for the life of Potiphar's wife? And she said, this boy is too handsome. Fair in complexions. She started admiring him. And on that fateful day, when she noticed that the husband was no home, she called Joseph and said, come. Joseph was so free. And she said, sleep with me. Lie down with me. Make love to me. And Joseph was like, oh, please, ma. I can't do this. I cannot do this. Why? There was something. He knew who And while he tried to run away, he left his shirt in the hands of Potiphar's wife. And the woman with the shirt started crying. Hey, everybody in the house, come. Thank God for what happened, what transpired between them. When the husband who entrusted everything to Joseph came, he could not take it lightly. When he had saw that he was to lie with the wife, he ordered, they brought Joseph and sent him what? To prison. What Joseph encountered, God took him out of circulation. For those years, out from the house of who? Potiphar's. Now, let me tell you something. If you are too comfortable as a tenant or living in a house where landlord do not disturb you, takes the grace of God for you to be able to do what? Build your own house. Joseph was so comfortable in Potiphar's house 
In other words, there are some houses you rent because of the nature and the weight of that house. Sometimes you're beginning to tell yourself, ask yourself, what and when do I be able to get a house? Each time you reason and look at the bigness of that house and all of that, do you know sometimes that outreach can begin to weaken your spirit man to build your own house. And so when he got to prison, he was there. God removed him from the public space in Potiphar's house. And so while he was there, you know in prison, there is no bed like the one you lie or lay or sleep. Ordinary ground, no tie, no floor. They just do the jammer floor. Sometimes they compact people inside. Everybody take their space. Forget that is where they eat. That is where they poo poo. That is where they bait. Just forget that one. And Joseph was there. After many years, God now revealed his true gift to him. That is where the gift of true interpretation now comes. If he was in Potiphar's house with those comfortable life, I don't think he would have been able to discover himself. So while he was there, that gift in him, everybody has it all. Until you discover yourself, you will never leave that cave. The enemy has placed you. So when he discovered himself and God now revealed himself, the manifestation now came. He now knew and saw that he has the gift of dream interpretation. Don't forget, it was still the same dream he had that make his brother to do what? To sell him. Tell somebody, I am coming out in full. I'm not hearing you. Tell somebody, I'm coming out in full force. Tell somebody, it's my time to shine. My star to shine. Tell somebody, my time to shine. My time to shine. My hour has come to rain. My hour has come to rain. My hour has come to shine. My time has come. My time has come. I must take charge. I must take I must dominate. I must dominate. I must rule my war. I must rule my war. I must rule my war. If you believe, wave your hands and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so, it was because God took him out of the public space. Sometimes you must come out of circulation. Go to a time in my life, every day, I was doing same thing, same thing, same thing. I was going to one place every day, every day of my life. The little money I will have, I will take it there, squander it. Sometimes something will be pushing me, and even if I don't have the money to transport myself, I will tread until one day. Sometimes I will sit there until the people start coming to meet me. I will buy things and all of that. One day, God spoke to me. I said, What is wrong with you? How can you be doing this and you are still tenant? See, go and find out. Go and find out what I am telling you. Anything I'm telling you here, go and find out. If ask people at Welu, who is Pastor A woman? Go and ask. Say, we used to know that there is one Pastor A woman. What is Pastor A woman? Palm front. 
Now I take build church. Pound coverage, the body, everything. In less than two hours, so you don't dry them. Go and find out. Pastor Ewan. And God took me out from that public space. I was out of circulation. Everybody was looking for me because I was always buying, giving. I started gathering. I started doing what? Gathering. The little money I was squandering, I started gathering. They were looking for me. Ah, we have not been seeing Apostle for some time now. And what is happening now? One month, two months, three months, four months, five months, six months, and all of that. Then I knew I beginning to deal. God had beginning to reveal so many things to me. I said, look, son, you need to be a landlord. And that's why I've always told you. If you see the receipt, I used to buy that my house, to buy the land. The receipt, I bought that land less than 200,000. But the receipt, I, I paid 500 naira to the, to the person I bought it from. I'll tell him, I say, write paper, put. 1,000, write paper. 2,000, write paper. 4,000, write paper. To gather less than 200,000, where I built my house. I was out of circulation. You can't repeat one thing over and over and you are not, if since you are not getting results, don't continue. Come out of circulation. When Jesus wants to start demonstrating power, he goes out of circulation to the mountain. Every little party you are there, what are you looking for? What are you doing there? And so, what happened? The same man who locked up Joseph had a dream. Now he needed a what? Interpreter. He needed somebody to do what? Interpret his dream. And God already did what? Manifested himself. Manifest his life, himself, in the life of who? Of Joseph. Come out of circulation. Let people who are seeing you in your TikTok, your Facebook, or every platform you are now, let them begin to see your handwork. I thank God for some of our, our daughters now. Go to their world now. They are beginning to showcase their, 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 their products. Yes. Let people sometimes begin to ask you, where have you been? Do you understand what I'm saying? Don't let everybody start just reading you just like that. Sometimes, come out of what? Out of circulation. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. In prison, God revealed himself to him. His dream of interpretation did what? manifested Paul was another man who wanted to start his ministry in the busy city of Damascus <laughs> but God knew better Paul wanted to start up a ministry in the busy city of Damascus but God knew better and so what happened God said, no. He removed him from circulation. He went to Arabia and spent 14 years as an unknown world preacher. But after 14 years, God now brought him back and introduced him to the apostles in Jerusalem. That was when Paul 
blow off. Out of circulations at times. And while you are out of circulation, go somewhere to do what? Build up. Cook yourself. In anything God has given to you as a gift, work on yourself. Praise the name of the Lord. Never start a ministry until. Hmm. You receive a full manifestation, a full revelation. Revelation is a process and it takes time. It's a period of spiritual what? Training. And it goes with what? With so many trials. You are seeing me today. Apostle, apostle. Go and find out, like I ask you now, what I have suffered. Stop asking questions. Why am I here? <laughs> These are simple questions people ask. Some of you women, you are asking yourself, why am I here? Why am I in this marriage? What am I doing? God put you there to train you. You are only adamant to the world. It's because you are stubborn. You don't want to hear. That is why you are complaining and seeing every correction as evil. Some of you have also asked yourself, what am I doing in this church? It is only those that have no vision, have no future, that will think that our message is too hard for them. Otherwise, if you know why you are here, you are building yourself you are cooking yourself. I don't see any reason why you will not succeed when you leave here tomorrow. I want, sir, with my bishop, Bishop Mobajes, what ask? What well, find out? Have you eaten? It's not in his diary. Forget that one. My bishop will never ask you if you have eaten. As a matter of fact, he will gather us together and he said, we are fasting for 10 days. It is not the kind of fasting you fast. He will leave you at home. You don't understand that kind of fasting. He will put you in the church. Everybody will be in the church. Even with him, you'll be fasting and praying. First day, it will look as if you want to die. Second day, you can't even shout praise God. Your leg will be shaking on the ground. Third day, fourth day, you see the numbers will begin to reduce. But because we, we are the foot runner, the walking force, we don't have anywhere we are going to. When some of you here are already looking at time, Oh, this man is wasting my time. This man is wasting my time. I am keeping you here so that what is made to kill you, you should escape it. When you are in that party, do you look at times? Why am I here? What am I doing here? You are here because God wants to cook you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Somebody talk to you, you leave the church. Why don't you leave when your director in the office talk to you? Why don't you resign? What am I doing here? I'm not supposed to be here. What am I doing here? The salary is too small. Be dear. God is training you so that when you now open your own, you will not find it what? Difficult. You will know how to deal with your staffs and deal with situations. I know of a girl 
I've said it before, let me say it again. When money was money, in the 90s, she came where we were gathering, and she said, I saw that her face was not too far, and I asked her, and she said, can you imagine my husband gave me 5,000 naira? Eh? In the 90s. Say, what do I want 5,000 naira to do? Cook soup for what? What am I doing in marriage? 5,000. In the 90s. You don't understand what I'm saying. The last time I saw her, she's still single. She's still what? She still won. Single. No training. Huh? Sweep. You will not sweep. Come to kitchen. Come assist your mommy. Eh? I just manicure. I just manicure. Eh? Some of you don't know how to cook. Because you don't want to learn. The only thing you know how to cook is to boil. Even the water, I know the boil. Even the Indomie you cook, you know the don. Why am I here? What am I doing here? Supposed to marry a big man. Eh? They are everywhere. You think the big man will also marry you? With your character. You are there! For the word of God to form in you. You are there to receive the pregnancy of great things that God wants to do through you. And very, very soon, you shall come out of your confinement like Paul. You shall turn the world upside down Amen. with the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Out of circulation. Out of circulation. I pray for you. I speak prophetically upon your life. Amen. After today, as you are coming out, greatness will be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. As you are coming out, today, the world will know that God has really nurtured you for greatness in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Stand to your feet. Come out of circulation. Tell somebody out of circulation. Out of circulation. Let them look for you. Let them look. Are you hear what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Is it not grass cutter or porcupine? He said, if they hide, they big. Is that grass cutter or porcupine? Okay. Waiting in leg bolo. If they hide, they big. Sit down. Some of you, ordinary international passport. Now you don't do. You put out of pocket, front pocket. You bring up, make come out, make the same. Ordinary international passport. You never start a visa processing. You know. You want everybody to see that green color. When your friends or your enemy sees that, you think you can still travel to that abroad. I'm asking you. Out of circulation. As 
long as you have achieved that, you go and keep it. Every night, every morning, bring it out. In your privacy, begin to pray. Father, you don't need to know where you are going to before you procure your international passport. Don't start telling people, I was on travel. I was on travel. Eh? For this world, where we did so, this wicked world, you buy land, the whole world not here again. You think I build it and pack into it? Never you share your dream, but share your testimony. Never you do what? Share your dreams, but do what? Share the testimony. Joseph shared his dream. He landed him in Potiphar's. Thank God for Potiphar's wife. You see why they thank the woman? Because if she had not embarrassed Joseph, his dream of interpretation, when you are too comfortable, you can't achieve anything in life. I assisted somebody here to build a house. The wife never opened her mouth to tell me thank you until after three years. Man, how can you bring us to this bush? Man, how can you bring us to this bush? That is what I was hearing. Oh. She was frowning at the back. Huh? What are you doing inside this bush? I learned when I bought that land at that time. I bought it 100 by 100, 600,000. Now, 550 by 100, there now, you can't even get it 3 million. Houses have covered everywhere. If you know what, I have suffered the tenants. If anybody push you, if tenant embarrass you, no verse. He or she wants to reveal your true interpretation. What you are meant for, she's there to help you realize it. Don't see him or her as an evil person. Why are you wearing my shirt? Why are you wearing my shoe? No verse. Don't be offended. That person is helping you to your destiny. Do you understand what I'm saying? You raise your hand because your shirt is here and somebody is laughing. Let them laugh. They are telling God to do what? To replace that shirt for you. Whatever conditions and situation you are passing through and somebody is making mockery of you, they are not your God. They are telling God to hasten his word concerning your life. Stand to your feet. Praise God. Hallelujah. I know you will be blessed by that message. And by the special grace of God, we want to appreciate those of you who are sending us messages and who are placing calls across to us. And by the grace of God, we will continue to pray for you. I just want to quickly please appeal to each and every one of you out there to please partner with us, support us to keep uh, the ministry going. And by the grace of God, if you look at the project we have on ground right now, we're still trying, we're still having some challenges and all of that, you know, to complete it. And like the Bible says uh, in Luke chapter 5, verse number 7, it said, They beckoned unto their partner which were in the other sheep that they should come and help them. We need your support financially, materially and otherwise. And as you give us the tools, we will finish the job. And this is the building and by the grace of God, your, your, your token will go a long way to serving this situation. Until I come your way next week, keep living in the atmosphere of life and peace. God bless you. Shalom. Thank you.